So with Dragon Ball Fighters being released next week, I decided that I'm going to do my top four favorite Dragon Ball Z games. Now, why four? Simply because, I don't know. It fits Dragon Ball, because, you know, the four-star Dragon Ball, and, yeah, that's kind of a dumb reason, but, you know, I, I just I just can't think of any other games aside from the, just these four. I'm not saying these other, other games are bad, I'm just, I like these ones the most. But, yeah, let's begin. So for number 4, I have picked Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2. Now, Raging Blast 2, I felt like it was an improvement over Raging Blast. Not the, not the best improvement, but like, I felt like it was still an okay sequel. Now, the reason I felt like it was better is because, like, the colors, they stood out more. Like, the gameplay, I felt like, gameplay was pretty much the same, but it just felt different. For some reason. But aside from that, let's go on with like the story mode. The story mode isn't like your original Dragon Ball Z like game story mode. Instead of it being like the original Sand Saga through Boo, it's every character has their own story mode. Now that was neat. A little tricky if you weren't if you didn't want to play as if you want to play through like every character's story mode. But see all the characters you had to. But, yeah, aside from that, it also included the plan to eradicate the Sands movie, which also had Hotshot in it. Now, to get, to get him, you would have to watch the whole movie. It wasn't, I mean, I didn't mind watching it, it was pretty cool, actually. But, yeah, that was a pretty cool bonus. Region Blast 2 also included the Dragon Ball Kai voices, which I do feel like are better than the original Z voices. But that's just me. So let's move on to number three. Attention, all proud warriors! Have you ever considered joining Time? So for number three, I have picked Dragon Ball Z Universe Two. Now Z Universe Two, I feel like it was an okay sequel. I feel like it was rushed out, cause mainly because like there were so many things they could have done if they had used up more time on it, but they just didn't. I mean, like gameplay. The combos were were better. Uh, they gave each each race for your CAC transformations. Sans could now go Super Saiyan three. Freezes could go can turn golden. Uh, Majins can become like a Kid Buu character. Mechians can turn then can become giant and humans get a power pole. Now, aside from each character getting their own, or each race getting their own transformation, the story mode felt the same, but at the same time, it, it did feel different. But, at the same time, I just feel like it was the same story, just told from a different time patrol. Now, we did get, you know, newer characters. We, you know, we got Turles, we got Lord Slug, you got Future Gohan. And that's pretty cool. We also got like, if you pre-ordered the game, you'd get Goku Black. But, aside from like, all that, the game just like, there were new techniques you could learn, which which was cool, but like, it could have been better. If they had used up more time, it could have been a much better game. But anyway, let's move on to number two. So for number two, I have picked Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. Budokai 3 is my favorite Budokai game in all on the, all the series, and it was better than one in my opinion. It was also better than two, mainly because the gameplay was was faster, the combos were better, like like the the game stood out better. It's like the the coloration wasn't as bright like how it was in Budokai 2. It was like it like it felt like it like it fit more into the, like the world, and like. Like the super, the special attacks you could do, were it was pretty cool. You also got like you got like a few GT characters, and you got Kid Goku, which was cool, and it, w it was pretty good, cool. Thing is, the thing I didn't like about Budokai Three is is like the Dragon Rush or yeah, Dragon Rush is what it's what they called it. The red, like the red R like thing you could do to to, to launch your special. I never liked that, mainly because, because like one, you can get hit with, you can get hit 
and it was really annoying because it was like rock, paper, scissors, you didn't know what to do. But aside from that, I felt like Boudicca 3 was a pretty good game. Now, moving on to number one. Finally, for number one, I have picked Dragon Ball Z Budokai Ting ID3. Pretty sure everyone would have guessed this. This one, would, this one would have either been number two or number one. But Ting ID3, it was such a, it was so much better than two and one. I'm not saying like two, two was pretty, two was pretty fun in my opinion. I like two a lot. But three is just, it's, it's way, it's, it's a step up from that. The gameplay is smoother, it's faster. Like the amount of characters you had in that game, I believe what it's like you have like over 150 or like a total of 150 characters. Cause like Goku, he had like he had like three variations of his character. You know, he would have the beginning, the the middle, and the end. And like he had his, he had the fusions. You had you had Dragon Ball characters. You had GT characters. Like you could uh, you could make any like fight happen in that in that game, and like the the stages the stages could go from like day to like evening to night. Kendra Three is just an overall a really good game. All right, so that was it for my top four favorite Dragon Ball Z games. I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.